So we are going to focus on how you can improve your grip strength. Sometimes you'll see and you would have experienced on the field where you don't have the ability to grab the opponent with both arms. You've just grabbed on by the skin of your teeth with your fingers. So we're making sure that we've got strong fingers fingers on the field can help you be able to grab that opponent a little bit closer so you can actually stick the tackle. So things like rock climbing, if you, if you don't have access to rock climbing, then maybe at your gym they'll have those rock climbing apparatus set up at the chin-up station. That's what they're there for to develop your finger strength. So we're not actually focusing on gripping around the palms. We want to focus on just gripping at our fingertips for that exercise for the purpose of improving your finger strength. We can also do plate carries, so holding the weight plates and just going for like a farmer's walk um, is another great way that you can do it. Or you can just do that incidentally in between your squats, deadlifts, bench press, all those heavy lifts where you're unpacking the bar, do the finger grip version. Don't hold it in the palms, hold it at the end of the fingertips and hold it for as long as you can to develop your finger strength. Pulling strength, so working on developing our lats. That's where we do want to work on gripping the, the dumbbell and the whatever the external load is, barbell, dumbbell, or chin-ups, any pulling exercises where you're pulling external load to you to help you for that on-field performance where you do grab the jumper and you're pulling them in to be able to get your arms over them. That's where we want to make sure we're gripping as hard as possible and you're doing short rep ranges like six and under at heavy load. So dumbbell, single arm dumbbell, rows are a great exercise, bent over rows with a barbell dumbbell, uh, prone bench rows, prone rows also known as, um, and make sure that you're maximally gripping that bar as hard as you can and you're not letting it slip to the fingertips. So that's a great way to develop your pulling strength, which is really important for that wrestling type combative work, um, especially our key position players and inside mids. Then you've got your rotational power exercises. So for those, you want to make sure that you're um, rotating from the ankle, the hip and the shoulder. So torsionator is a really great tool for that. Uh, as well as power bands and cables. So practicing rotating that. And so we're transferring the force from our legs through to our upper body um, by being able to keep a stable and, and engaged trunk. So that's where the core strength comes into it, as well as um, the coordinating the, the limbs. So practicing rotation is really important because a lot of the time you for, to do a dominant tackle or to try and stick your tackle, the opponent might be moving at speed. So to be able to absorb that force where the strength comes in and then have the power through to be able to rotate through the hips and the feet to be able to um, slam them to the ground. So rotational exercises are really, really important. And then, of course, frontal plane strength exercises with our legs. So thinking lower body, lateral squats, uh, holding a, you know, the dumbbell in the goblet position or bar on the back. Uh, we'll have things like a, a Copenhagen or bench reductions to strengthen our groins. Um, might have side plank, side um, raises, so strengthening our glute med. So these can be some great exercises to develop your glutes your, and your adductors to be able to shrug the opponents off um, using your hips. So that lateral movement is really, really important and typically not used for those that have only done bodybuilding type of training. Um, so making sure that you have got these frontal plane movements for to help you on the field because a lot of the time we will be moving in that plane on field performance. So um, that's really, really important. And it would be um, remiss of me if I didn't express to improve your physicality. The st all this strength work that I mentioned is really, really important, but I've seen it a lot over my time working with footballers. People can get incredibly strong on the field and they do all the great things, but then they don't practice it in training. So make sure if you're a ruckman, obviously you're practicing um, throw-ins with the, the biggest player in your squad, uh, and, you're, and you're practicing things like, okay, is this player um, super strong with their upper body but weak through the legs? So I'm going to try and um, use that to my advantage. So you, the ability for you to be able to read the game tactically, know your opponent and their strengths, know your strengths compared to your, your opponent, weak, understand weaknesses and be able to exploit that um, is undervalued. So those um, mental sides really important. And, of course, the aggressiveness and being super competitive and having that drive to win is also underestimated. So you can be super strong in the gym, but it won't transfer until you've got those mental, uh, that mental knowledge on how to use it and also the physicality and the aggressiveness to be able to apply it on field.